and welcome to my first ever video here on YouTube. I've tried filming this before, tried filming a makeup tutorial for my first YouTube video, but then I really thought about it and I realized what can be more perfect than doing something that I truly love, that truly shows who I am for my first video, which is a Taco Bell haul and eating show, which I know are very popular and very overdone online. But I have a little twist to mine. So obviously I went to Taco Bell. Love Taco Bell. It's my favorite fast food restaurant of all time. Um, but a little fun fact about me is that I am vegan. So all the Taco Bell items that I got are veganized. I have tried two of them before. One of them I have not tried yet, so this will be a first impressions of that particular one. There's many other items that you can veganize on the menu besides what I got, but this is just the stuff that I was craving today. So first of all, I got my soda, my Mountain Dew Spike Lemonade. I know, it's not the healthiest thing of all time, but I really like it and I really like it with my Taco Bell. And it's okay every once in a while. I'm not a healthy vegan. I will never claim to be a healthy vegan. Alright, let's get into the Taco Bell. Woohoo! Okay, so I have some napkins, receipts. Some hot sauce. My favorite sauce is just the plain old hot sauce. I'm not really a big fan of the other ones. Mild is too mild. Diablo is just too hot. So first we're going to start off with a classic crunchy taco. Today on my crunchy taco, I ordered it with beans instead of beef. I took off the cheese and added tomatoes and guacamole. So what's on my taco is refried beans, lettuce, tomatoes, and guacamole. And it is so good. I'm going to quick rip some sauce open. Put it on. Mm, I'm so excited. I just got off work and I am so hungry. And I've been craving this literally for like 24 hours. So hungry. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. I swear that like the noises that you make when you eat Taco Bell, like the mmm and all that stuff, like it's not even made up. Like it's just so freaking good. Mm. Fun fact, one time I got food poisoning from the guacamole at Taco Bell, but I don't know. <laughs> Didn't stop me from going back. It so I guess this is like a get to know me video, since it's my first one. I really wanted it to be casual because my whole life was casual, and I love food. And the two most important things in my life besides like people and obviously like my family and stuff are food and veganism and the planet. But like food and veganism in one video for my first video, pretty perfect. Mm. Mm. It's so good. I know a lot of people when they do these videos like only eat a little bit of each thing. But I want to eat everything because I'm so hungry. Um, it doesn't even have to be that warm to be good. Like, that's what's so crazy about it. Mm. I love crunchy tacos. I don't really care for soft tacos because to me, a soft taco is just a burrito. So why not have a burrito? One thing from Taco Bell that I really like to order, but I didn't get today until I got other stuff, is the seven layer burrito. I take off the sour cream and cheese and add potatoes, and it's freaking amazing. You could add other things like salsa too if you wanted, or whatever else, but I like it just adding the potatoes and taking off the dairy and putting my sauce on it. Oh, it's really good for like a $3 burrito. Oh my god. There's no other <laughs> fast food, mm, fast food restaurant that I like even close to as much as I love Taco Bell. So good. Okay, well, that 
It's gone. Crunchy taco. Done. Next. I don't know how these are gonna be. Never tried them before. Um. So it is the. I don't know what it's called. Let me see. The three layer nachos, and I took off the nacho cheese and added on guacamole. And it comes with refried beans, red sauce, which is like their hot sauce, and guacamole. So we'll see if this is decent or if this is disgusting. Because honestly, like, if you can see those beans, like, they're really dry and they don't look that good, but like, I'm gonna try it. Whoops. <laughs> The chips are good, like always. Like they have good chips. Okay, let's try to get a little bit of everything. Try. All right, that's my tiny little pathetic scoop that I was managed to get. I mean, it's not bad. It's not, like, my favorite thing ever, but, like, it's not bad. It got soggy, and the beans are a little dry. And, like, the guac's in one place, and the beans are in one place, and the sauce is in one place, so, like, it's not, like, well blended together, but I've had worse stuff in my life. It's not horrible, but would I recommend it or order it again? Probably not. I feel like it's a really common fact that Taco Bell's cinnamon twists are vegan. Um, it's like their dessert. They're just like little puppy, airy, cinnamon, crunchy things. I mean, they're pretty good when you really just want something sweet on the go that's literally a dollar. So. Um, I'm not going to waste too much more time on these because they're not that good. My final item that I have ordered today is a new discovery for me. It is amazing, and it's the reason why I didn't get a burrito today, because it basically is just like a ginormous flattened burrito. It is the Crunchwrap Supreme. Yes, please. Like, this is the second time that I've ordered it, and the first time was literally, what, three days ago? But it's so good that I had to get it again. I'm going to need to look at how I ordered this one. So I got the Crunchwrap Supreme, it's only $3.69 even with the stuff that I added on it. So I get no sour cream, no nacho cheese, and change it from beef to refried beans, and then I add guacamole and potatoes. Potatoes are like a secret Taco Bell menu item that like, I don't know, a lot of people like don't realize that they have, but they're so good on like everything. Like maybe not a crunchy taco, but like any sort of like soft wrap thing like Crunchwrap or soft taco or burrito. It's freaking amazing. Let's bite into this and then we'll pour some sauce on it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not gonna look very appetizing at all, but if I recommend one item from Taco Bell that you have to go try, it would definitely be this. Like, even though it's a new discovery for me, it's my new favorite thing. It's my new obsession. I don't even know if anybody's watching this, but like, if you are, let's talk. Let's be friends. I don't know. I need some vegan friends. I really don't have, I literally don't have any vegan friends. I live in an area where like <laughs> being vegan is very uncommon and it's really hard to like meet people with common interests around here. For me, at least. So if anybody wants to talk about, like, vegan stuff, let's discuss veganism and share recipes and, like, food things and... I don't know. I don't have any vegan friends. I don't know what you do with your vegan friends. Or vegan friends are just, like, normal friends. I don't know. Mmm. It's so freaking good. I keep saying freaking because I'm trying not to, like, say curse words in my video. At least not this first one. In real life, I say them a lot. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, maybe that's gross. I don't know. We'll see if I like leave that in. 
Mm. And I really appreciate that, like, even though it's, like, a big national, like, chain, there's, like, very easy ways to make their food vegan. And, like, that their beans are vegan and all these things, like, that you can very easily make their food vegan. Which is really cool. I love when, like, restaurants are, like, inclusive of everyone. Um, so a little about me. Because I haven't gotten to that part of the video yet. I'm too excited about eating my food. I am 18 years old. I am not in high school anymore. I graduated, obviously. Um, I am vegan. I have been vegan for a little over three years, but I haven't eaten meat in like probably six years, if not more. And becoming vegan is like such an awesome, impactful, like big part of my life. Um, I'm really happy I made that decision. I also am very big into the environment. I really care. Okay, you're gonna think I'm lying because I'm using a plastic straw right now. Listen, I have metal straws. It's just sometimes before you can tell them no straw at places, they just give you a straw. And like once they give it to you, like they can't take it back. And sometimes you just have to deal with it. It's better than being a really difficult, annoying customer because I work in customer service and I understand what that's like and it's very annoying. But um, I really do care a lot about the planet. I try to be as environmentally friendly as I can be. Like I don't use, I try to limit the amount of plastic I use. I don't use like single use plastics typically. Well, this is an exception for today, but typically I don't. Um, I don't use plastic bags. I don't use plastic straws, plastic cups, plastic utensils. Obviously when you order takeout, there's going to be a lot of waste, which really sucks. And I wish there wasn't, but it's not like I do this every day. I try to counteract it, balance it out as much as I can. Those are probably the two biggest aspects of my life. The, the two things I'm most passionate about. So that's kind of what I want to focus this channel on, not just like talk about eating shows. So yeah, that's why I'm making this channel. I want to discuss things with people that are like-minded, um, like like-minded individuals. And I don't know, I also love beauty and makeup. I really love doing makeup. Today I really don't have like a crazy makeup look on, it's because I was running late for work, but it's okay, you don't have to be crazy and creative every day. Um, but I love doing makeup, especially eyeshadow, it's like my favorite thing to do. Obviously I tried, I, I do use cruelty free makeup, and sometimes that can also get frustrating because like, you have to make sure the brand's cruelty free, you have to read through all the ingredients, but it's the same way with food. Once you start doing it, it's really not that big of a deal, it just gets so like, get so used to reading the ingredients of everything that you put on your body, use, or whatever. I feel like stuck in nature. Like maybe I can like shove a chip in here. Like, oh that's actually a really good idea. I'm so creative. I'm such a chef. Mmm. I need more hot sauce. Oh. Ah! Oh man. And I also am very messy. <laughs> now that is more like a crunch wrap supreme. I taste that crunch. I like actually think I might finish all my food today. Usually I have a hard time like finishing the last bits. Like for some reason I'm weird and I never eat the bottom part that I'm holding. I don't know why. Like it's not like a germ thing because I always wash my hands before I eat. But I don't know. It's not that appetizing to me. That's so weird. I'm so weird. Mm. Making it weird. Well, I don't think this is weird, but it's another thing that some people think about me that is weird, I guess. I am a huge Harry Potter fan. Always have been my entire life since I was like, I don't know, I started reading the books when I was like 10. So like, I guess 8 years. Not my entire life, but most of it that I can remember. I've been a huge Harry Potter fan. I'm just like a Harry Potter fan who's like read the books or watched the movies. Like, I lived it. Like, I used to pretend so hardcore. But I would live. Like, I would pretend. Like, I was... In the world of Harry Potter. I would give myself- this is gonna make me sound crazy. <sighs> Whatever, it's the truth. <laughs> I would give myself homework from the different classes. I would give myself detention and make myself, like, write lines and stuff, like, from, like, the Hogwarts class stuff. And I would create collages of, like, pictures of... Uh, 
like the Harry Potter characters and stuff. But like it wasn't just that. Like I pretended to be a character, but it wasn't a character in Harry Potter. I was also obsessed with Wizards of Waverly Place and Selena Gomez. So I pretended to be Alex Russo from Wizards of Waverly Place that Selena Gomez played, but in the world of Harry Potter. <laughs> Maybe if I keep doing this YouTube thing, I'll show you all. <laughs> I there's a uh, closet downstairs underneath the stairs in my basement that I made into my Harry Potter room. There's spells all over the walls. There's collages all over the walls. It used to be such a cool little clubhouse. Like, it's where I did all my Harry Potter stuff. It was the coolest little thing ever. Now it's just storage, but the stuff is still on the walls. And so, if anybody is ever interested in seeing that or a whole video about Harry Potter, maybe, oh my god, that'd be so much fun. Like a Harry Potter tag. Oh my god, that sounds like so much fun. Let me know. I want this to be informative, educational, like a discussion kind of channel about different things like like environmental issues or veganism, food, hell, Harry Potter. I love it, so why not? Um, it's gonna be all about the things that I really love and I'm passionate about. And makeup and beauty is one of them. Especially like cruelty-free stuff and informing people what brands are and aren't cruelty-free. Showing people great products that are cruelty-free that you can use instead of other ones that aren't. First we'll see if I can figure out how to edit a video. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. This is like cold now because I've been talking for like 30 minutes and I had to drive home like 15 minutes. So it's been sitting for like almost an hour. But it's so good. I want to shove some chips into my crunch wrap. And I can't because they're all covered with gross stuff. I honestly don't think I could ever be a raw vegan. I have no desire to be a raw vegan. Like, props to everybody who can do that because I don't... I mean, I'm sure I could if I set my mind to it and I really wanted to, but I just don't. And props to anybody who does do that because that's awesome. And, like, I know it's so healthy for you. I know that. But I, I like to eat Taco Bell on occasion. <laughs> like, once a week. Oh, my bag's empty. Nothing. For some reason, the sauce is really getting to me now. Like, my tongue's burning, but it's not even that hot. Just because I've eaten eight packets of it. That could be why. I can do it. I just have to push through it. Oh, my name's Megan. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> I've never said my name. My name's Megan. Um, and it's spelled kind of cool. My name's Megan, and it's spelled M-E-G-H-A-N. Everybody always misspells it, but I like it. I think it's unique. <laughs> I did it! I finished the crunch trap and the taco. Not the nachos, because, well, would you want to eat this? I will not be getting these nachos ever again, because they were pretty nasty. And maybe if they were super warm or fresh, they'd be good. But, 100% recommend the crunch wrap. Million percent recommend it. And the tacos, you can't go wrong with a crunchy taco. Unless you don't like crunchy tacos. Like, my boyfriend does not like crunchy tacos, and he really likes soft tacos, so... I guess you can go wrong with it if you don't like them, but Taco Bell has some pretty dang good tacos. Alright, well, I think I finished my drink. Not much left in there. Finished my Taco Bell. So I guess that means this video is finished. But, yeah, there you go my cruelty-free vegan Taco Bell haul slash eating show mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. I always say mukbang. <laughs> it's completed. So I guess that's it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or you just want to talk down in the comments. So I guess I will see any of you who are watching. The next time I decide to upload a video, maybe it'll be a Harry Potter tag or quiz or room, Harry Potter room tour if anybody wants to see that. And it's pretty funny. 
it's kind of embarrassing, but I can show you like, oh my god, I can show you, I have like a whole bag full of like old homework I would give myself, I have journals, I have spells, like, I have so much stuff that I could show you if you wanted to see that. So much. That could be a really fun video. Well, let me know if anybody wants to see that. Alright, well, I will see you all if you decide to come back and watch another video again. Thank you for watching my Taco Bell haul. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And go grab yourself a crunch wrap sometime soon. See you later. Bye! <laughs> Alright.